we hope you're all safe and well. We wanted to start this video with a few shout out to some students who got there working really quickly. So these were Dino, Isha, Mohamed Zia, Zayan and Dominic. Really, really well done. And if you haven't sent your images in yet, please do so. We would love to see some more. So the second creative challenge we're doing is called Extract Illustration. So an illustration is a drawing or a decoration that goes alongside a piece of text. Sometimes it can help us to picture an imaginary object or a person and it can help bring the text to life. An illustrator is an artist who specialises in creating these drawings and a really famous one that you might have heard of before is Quentin Blake. He is the illustrator who's illustrated all of those Roald Dahl books and he's done some David Wallian books too. He's illustrated about 300 different books so far in his lifetime. Quentin Blake was not the first person to illustrate Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In fact, there have been quite a few different versions. We're going to show you a clip now of Quentin Blake talking us through his versions of Willy Wonka. And we really want you to listen to how he reads the text carefully to help him make his artistic choices. Hello, Puffin virtually live viewers all over the world. Welcome. I'm. Quentin Blake. It's rather strange actually because I wasn't the first person to illustrate Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. It first came out 50 years ago and it was 25 years later when I came to do my set of illustrations for it. Now I always start quite near the top with the face, very often with the nose I think. There's a nose for a start and then He's got a little smile and he's got a little beard like that. Now then. And he's got, it does tell us in the book, he's got pale grey gloves, plum coloured velvet coat. And the thing about that is that it's a swallowtail coat, which means he's got these long coat tails. And that's very nice, I think, because you can make them flap about. And as he's somebody who's always jumping about and moving about, that is rather nice so you could sort of it suggests that he's moving this is plum colored these trousers are bottle green and the tie is whatever you like to make it. So I'm now going to show you some different illustrations and we're going to read them out and I'd like you to think really carefully about how the illustrator has captured the text in a visual way. This is by an illustrator called Kim Jay for the Harry Potter series. Harry thought of getting to his feet but decided against it. He didn't think his legs would support him so he spoke from the ground as calmly as he could. They think up at the school that Hagrid's been setting uh, uh, something on students. They've taken him to Azkaban. Aragog clicked his pincers furiously, and all around the hollow the sound was echoed by the crowd of spiders. It was like applause, except applause didn't usually make Harry feel sick with fear. And this is John Tenniel for Alice in Wonderland. Dodo suddenly called out, The race is over! And they all crowded round it, panting and asking, But who has won? Look, this question the dodo could not answer without a great deal of thought, and it sat for a long time with one finger pressed upon its forehead, the position in which you usually see Shakespeare in the pictures of him, whilst the rest waited in silence. At last the dodo said, everybody has won, and all must have prizes. So each year group will have a different extract. We have doubled up with English, and you can use the extracts you've been learning about in school. So for year seven, this is Greek mythology. Year eight, this is the diary of a suffragette. Year nine, it's mice and men. And year 10, it is Romeo and Juliet. 
So Mr Rooney and I have both made our own examples. Can you tell which extracts we have used? Finally, Year 9 students who've opted for art and Year 10 art students, we would like you to look at the artist Tisha Moore. As you can see, she carefully uses text as part of her compositions, making it as much as a part of the artwork as the images. We would like you guys to be doing this with your outcomes, including the extract in an artistic way. So just like last week, once you have finished your work, please take a photo of it and email it to creativechallenge at benrose.derby.sch.uk. Stay safe and we will see you next week.